I'm Brian Thompson and this is Driven by Design and we talk to car designers with the cars they have designed. Today I'm talking to a legendary car designer who's not only iconic in the industry for having done cars that we all know and love, but he just happens to also have been my mentor in the car industry. I spent 10 years at Nissan and then when I left and got to work for Tom Matano, he changed my life and it was like going back to school. Without further ado, I want to introduce Tom Matano. <laughs> He's here to talk to us today about his Mazda Miata. Come in here, Tom. Hey. Good to see you. I, I didn't know I changed your life, huh? You changed it <laughs> every day. Take me back to the beginning. Uh, you know, it's one thing to look at this car in 2016. Take me back to what was going on in the market. Beginning of the 80s, you know, most of the convertible you see on the road are uh, a Alfa Romeo, Juliet, Spider, and the Fiat 124. Nobody's coming up with a new new cars. If anything, it would be $80,000 Porsches or something. So there are none of the cars affordable for us to buy and enjoy every day. <laughs> All the convertibles are dying. Small little sports cars are dying. And I felt like we have to do something so the next generation of the kids gonna grow up with it and they want to have a convertible 20 some years later if we have one now. I always think of our future. And if you think of a future, it's, it's not really a dark side of the future. Oh, it's a, you create the bright side of the future. Right? Oh, that's interesting. So, so you're, yeah, so that's why I never a dark movement. So you're saying you, you're you're working on stuff that's coming out now, new yeah. stuff, and then you work on stuff that's for the longev for the long term future, yeah. and you hope that that future is a nice place. So yeah, you're yeah. gonna make it nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> not apocalyptic future. No. I get that. That's a nice way to put it. Why you have to create a dark future? Right, don't right? create a dark future. Whether you have a chance to do something, right? Yeah. Create a happy future by being happy now. Yeah. 1983, you wrote the story of how this car should be. And part of the story was that it should feel part of your body. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I mean, typical way you wear the car, but I mean, beyond that, you know, right. wear the car is like more like part of your body. You, know? you have an interesting philosophy about convertible tops and how they relate to people's hair. Since you open the top, you have your hair face exposed to it, so that should be part of the design. You wear your car, right? Right. In a way, so this is the other way, like a car thinks that they need somebody matched to the car. Real blonde is either gold champagne color or beige, <laughs> or darker color and contrast. Okay. But, uh, you know, but a fake ones only go for other colors. So you actually had them dye this top to yeah, match your gray the color. Hair. Yeah, yeah, pick the color. Right. So that when the top goes down, it still makes sense yeah. with the design. Yeah, and the seats and the interior. Yeah. I mean, it's an amazing feeling to see something you've yeah. designed and had to go down the road. But it's another feeling to be in it. Yeah. Because you'll be in it, right? And it goes back to the thing: you really are it because it's now a part of you. It's right. not you're not seeing it; you're yeah. you're experiencing it. We're talking about timeless design. What is it that makes a design timeless? One is that the hand never stops. If you're doing the washing or waxing, if the hand stops and go around something, design usually don't last that long. You know, human have all the, the muscle underneath, but a skin covers it, right? So the car will be the same thing. If you have a purpose and certain muscle require, sports car to be footwork or whatever, you have to have a you know, good, good stance or whatever. So the architecture has to be right for what it is, but closed in such a way, emotion could come out and communicate with it. You love this job. What's the secret? I mean, I, I know what my, I think my secret is, but what's yours? No, no, I think, secret. I think it's just be happy. Just be happy. <laughs> it's not that hard. Be, be enjoyable. <laughs> What you're describing to me is a dream come true. You've created a dream, yeah. and now you live and this dream. Live it, live, yeah, live it, and I just realized, oh my God, it's happened, right? It's happened. Yeah. This is a very special car. This is a very special man. Uh, he's changed the world in more ways than we know. It affects our lives. It's really affected mine, and um, it's an honor to get to ask you these questions. Well, thank you, Brian. Yeah. Best time, best time we had, right? The best yeah, time we right? ever had, and it was working yeah. together. Yeah. So, yeah. thank you, Brian.